Despite the lack of an appearance in the widely popular G.I. Joe A Real American Hero cartoon series by Sunbow Entertainment, Hit and Run is a character with a neat backstory and skill set. As such, we ask ourselves how well this particular customized piece holds up to the original 1988 release of the figure. We'll have a look right here and now. Let's begin. Hit and Run's file card lists him as somebody who was orphaned at a very young age who found an affinity to the activities of running as well as climbing early on and continued as he grew older. Known both as an infantryman as well as a mountaineer of sorts, it's curious to see if this Gridiron Studios character loadout works on a G.I. Joe classified figure body. If you've followed the channel for a little while, you may recall a time when I used a G.I. Joe classified flint head on a Cobra infantry body in order to make this custom Televiper, also with a Gridiron Studios character loadout kit. Well, the day has come to put the rest of the flint body to use, and since I wanted the figure to be noticeably different aesthetically when displayed through an unmodified G.I. Joe classified flint, I opted to use the unmasked Henry Golding head from the classified Snake Eyes movie release, as I thought it had the right head structure and right expression in the eyes to form the basis for a hit and run head sculpt. With some paintwork on the forearms and the head done by my good friend, the ever so talented Peter over at Spark Plug Customs, the general look of hit and run's vintage color pattern was replicated for this release in some spots and Peter added some weathering to other parts of the body to give it a more outdoorsy, mountaineer type of look. You can follow Spark Plug Customs on Instagram with the link that I have put in the description below. Peter also recolored the boots to a more black color rather than the brown that it came with to match that of the vintage 1988 hit and run figure as an added touch. As such, the differences become more pronounced compared to the standard flint figure when you see the two of them together. You can see that the Gridiron Studios loadout kit comes with quite a bit of gear, and it's clear that the large backpack and grappling hook are meant to simulate the large duffel bag and grappling hook that he had in the vintage release. The submachine gun and knife have a similar but updated and upscaled look to the 1988 figure, and the climbing ropes as well as the added walkie phone added to this kit do a lot to add to the more modernized aesthetic of what this loadout is meant to be used for. As you put the Gridiron Studios loadout kit onto the figure, I feel that it does indeed capture what a classified hit and run character is supposed to represent. You'll notice that I added the light web gear from the version 2 Valiverse Sergeant Slaughter Action Force release as I feel that it fleshes out the look that I am going for just a little bit more. In comparison to the vintage figure, I feel it more than holds up. It captures the essence while being a more than acceptable stand-in with the rest of any person's G.I. Joe classified collection, including my own. So when using the combination that I have assembled here, this does have a lot going for it, from the red color on the goggles to the rest of the accessories to make the figure stand out just a little bit more on your shelf. Now the formula that I listed here is not the only one available, and in the end, you can replicate this exact recipe or add some tweaks, be it your own head sculpt that you choose, or a different weathering pattern or painting pattern of sorts, or an altogether different figure base and web gear if you like. The key thing with customizing though is that unless you've seen the exact formula by another toy collector, you will end up taking a bit of a risk to acquire all the pieces needed only to find that the final customized piece is subpar to what you had in mind. I am happy to say though that this is not the case here in my opinion and I am quite proud of what this final product ended up looking like. Now I wouldn't call myself an expert customizer by any means, so however you as a G.I. Joe fan goes about tackling a similar project, should something like this entice you at all, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section regarding this. Have you got a formula in mind on how you'd like to customize this particular character? You can feel free to tell me if this captures the proper feel of hit and run and what it should be in your opinion if you have this in your collection. I mentioned in the past that Gridiron Studios character loadout kits can be the same cost as a figure and this kit was $35 US, not counting the cost of the figure itself nor the cost of commissioning the repainting and weathering work, so do keep all this in mind when embarking on similar projects. Of course, Having a modern version of this character makes me appreciate the vintage hit and run figure all the more, seeing as he was 
more than fun enough of a character to revisit in modern times, and much the same can be said for lots of the real American Hero toy lines cast of good guys and bad guys. Here's a look at this hit and run custom with some of the other figures that I have upgraded with Gridiron Studios character loadout kits as well, and as you can see, the collection is flushing itself out quite a lot. Customization and kit bashing has its own rewarding feeling and can serve as a hobby within a hobby or a niche within a niche if you recreate and upgrade the characters from your youth. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'd like to give a quick shout out to the Patreon supporters and channel members of Toy Connections whose names can be found in the description section of this video. And if you'd like to see some further content of mine, please be sure to click on some of my other selections here. Subscribe if you already haven't, press that like button to spread this video to more viewers, and share it with your friends. Otherwise, yo Joe, and I will see you again soon with some more of my favorite toys. Thanks again, and take care.